I never derive pleasure out of glitching shit. Unless it's my PSP or, you know, my PC that I put inside of my home arcade system. Yeah, I about hacked the shit out of those. But that's different, though, you know? That's preservation of history right there. I'm not making a profit off it. There's actually a dedicated button. Okay, so I assume this is break time again. Some form of it, anyway. See, no stairs up here, and no power-up appears to tell you that you found break time. You just wind up in it. And I don't know if the one before that was necessarily the correct way or not. Or if there's like two different versions of break time. The songs that are pretty cool, though. It's like a lullaby or some shit. Hell yeah, I got some nice bonus points for that. Okay, I don't know if I checked these blocks out over here. Oh shit. Not today, motherfucker. Oh yeah. Oh, phew. Barely. And even in front of you, you don't necessarily have to be in the center of the door to go through it, so it's really forgiven in that aspect, too. Hello. Okay. And that was my best Hacksaw Jim Duggan impression right there. Oh! I heard that guy still does shows and interviews and everything else. Kudos to Hacksaw Jim Duggan. He's awesome. Icon from my childhood. Now I'd hate to get hit upside the dome with his fucking 2x4 though. That would absolutely suck. And I just read along, you know, the trouble that him and Iron Sheik had. And I'm really proud of those guys for getting over their shit, and, you know, and being the legends that they are today. Absolutely amazing, my book. But, you know, again, that was back in the 80s. You know, everybody was getting stupid back then, it seemed. Okay, so this one also has a bonus stage. I'm gonna go on there and cash in some fucking one-ups. I don't quite know what that power-up did that I just found. is a secret one, and it was on the, uh, the bridge. So I just threw a punch, and boom, there it was. Okay, so... Yeah, I got that before it even turned into an E. That's some fucking ninja shit right there. Alright, so... And over here. Do that. Barely dodged that bullet. Alright, so I was already walking over here, so fuck it! Ugh. That was like a last hoorah. Okay, go to hell. Right, so I'm gonna hit everybody here with the fireballs. Alright, we got good. Alright. And imagine the the hype that this game could have got, you know, because Karate Kid and everything was really big back in '88, you know. And, uh. But then again, kung fu shit was popping up everywhere around that time, wasn't it? Because of the Karate Kid hype. I don't know. I'd have to look at my dates and double check that. I don't know if this one came before it or not. I'm pretty sure this came after. But I'm not a historian. I'm just a video game player. Though I could try to moonlight as one someday. If folks prefer, maybe I can add a little bit of zest to the future videos. Talk a little bit more about the developer and uh, the story behind the game. As expressed on Wikipedia or whatever, of course, because I wasn't there. Would have been cool if I was. My dad was a body man, though. He, did, he just learned how to turn on a computer last week. Alright, let's... And he still doesn't know how to get into text messages on his phone either, so... It's one of those guys, you know, you can't teach new tricks type. Oh! I don't know if I got that or not. Oh well. Life goes on. Ah! Fuck you, man. Boom, boom, and boom. Okay, so these guys, unlike their other guys, they will shoot projectiles at you which you can jump over. Sitting real pretty right now with some power ups. I'm up to 5 2 now. Oh, 
Oh shit. I don't know if I want to get that or not. Dragon head. I don't know how I'm going to beat that guy. Alright, so since my goal now is to try to get as far as I can go, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Oh man, you got to be shitting me. Okay, so I think the Miracle Kick is the only thing that can take those guys out. Along with those flying blocks, of course. Shit! No! Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, so these are like Dragon Head Fuck. Dragon Head Fucks, that's exactly what they are. They are Dragon Head Fucks. And not even the flying blocks can take him out. So you can jump over them all day, but it won't do shit. Look at that rapid fire they got. I'm trying to jump on this thing. Okay, so that just netted me a bunch of bonus points right there. Oh shit. It is getting really hectic. So now I've got a flaming skull coming after me. The blocks aren't touching these guys. I'm rocking about a three punch, and I thought that was cool, but it's not. <laughs> uh. You know, okay. So since this is about my fourth or fifth time trying to play it through from the first level, my suggestion to you folks out there that want to try this game, do not use the warp points, okay? You will regret it, and you're going to get stomped. Continue to power up, continue to hit bonus rooms, get one-ups, and you can do it. And I'm sitting here right along with you learning how to. So I just figured, you know, hey, what the hell, I'll go ahead a little bit and show you guys the world. No, don't do it, because you're going to wind up like me. You're going to get fucking killed. I don't even know the first thing about taking out those dragon guys other than the miracle kick. But I don't even know how the hell I get a miracle kick. Like, on purpose, and then use it on purpose. Seems like every time I've tried to use a miracle kick, it's been fake as fuck. You know, I just kind of winging it. You know, like maybe I press B and all of a sudden, no! -hoo! And that's the little sound he'll do when you know he's doing a miracle kick. And if you do one, aim for the one guy that doesn't get hurt by your kicks or your punches. Your normal ones. And what really made me worry about those guys is I'm throwing the blocks at him and shit. It's not doing anything. It's literally bouncing off of them. Alright, moving on to 1-2. So this time I'm going to try it straight. I'm just going to go ahead and see how far I can get in the hour or whatever. Without dying. Like, you know, getting the end screen and all that. Fuck you, you little mouth bastard. Okay, so... Whoa! That guy didn't have a chance. He was, like, flying right in my kick. Okay, so, uh, uh, fireball for you, fireball for you, fireball for you. You know, and also games like this, there was one, that, another one that came out probably a little bit before it. Straight up name was Kung Fu, and that was on NES. And that's another one of my favorite games, and there's been about a million different iterations throughout. But this one is by far the most action-packed. One of the complaints that I do have about it is that I just wish that the theme music would have more than two songs. Because either you get this song, which kind of sounds like some 50s rock and roll shit, and then you also got um, the, the one for the castle, the last level of the world. Kind of sounds like boss fight. But there's not necessarily a boss two fight, you know, sort of that I've seen, you know, but the, they have that red mummy thing. And that's about all I saw. So, this is the second available track in this game. Ah! Ugh, oh, shit, Ed. Alright, I'm just taking him out left and right. Stay away from me, fool. 
oh no, I'm right here, and then go in the hole again, then he's like, oh, fuck you, I'm gonna get you, and then he comes back again. Or maybe he just runs off screen, crying like a bitch, because he can't catch me. Oh, man. Okay, here we are, 2-1 now. Yeah, so I did get another one up, excellent. Okay, we got a money bag. We're gonna hit the bonus stage here, we're gonna get some one-ups. Your invulnerability after you respawn is literally about second, second and a half. So that is not very forgiving. You gotta make sure that if you're in hot water when you respawn, that you get yourself to a safe spot. Or you're gonna die very easily. This guy might be a Kung Fu master or whatnot, but he absolutely sucks. He cannot take a hit. Kinda reminds me of Shinobi. If you don't recall playing Shinobi in the arcade, that motherfucker can't take a hit either. Like somebody brushes on him and he's like, oh! folds up like an accordion. Alright, so what do we do? Did mention I'm gonna play this straight this time with no warp points. We'll see how strong I can get in that time. Okay, so it looks like the purple robe guys do come second. The first projectile fire enemy that you get is the bazooka guy. Yeah, why don't you come back for some more fuck nuts? Ah! Ah! Okay, I, I realize I screwed up right there. Nothing I can do about it. Just sit there with my thumb on my ass and get killed. Boom, and then boom. <sighs> Fucker. Okay, run! So I got a thousand points for ducking the fucking uh, bazooka there, so that's pretty cool. Now, if you really did hit somebody with a bazooka, I don't care if he's a Kung Fu warrior or not. It's probably gonna explode into a million pieces, right? I guess I keep it kinda accurate, he still dies. But it's like he got ran over by a train instead of blown up by a bazooka. Okay, so we hit the break time again. It always knocks you back, and I think it's glitching, but it's not, damn it. So, it looks like the blue ones are worth more. So I'm gonna start aiming for the blue ones. So you get over here. So if you find yourself in break time, the red ones are a good perk. The blue ones are gonna be what you're aiming for. That's your primary. Make sure you aim for those. And so... Ah! That was like a hit for hit. Punch him in the back of the head, punch him in the back of the head. Ah! You know, if I had my turbo controller right now, that probably wouldn't be a concern, because i just lay on that jump button and go, hoo, 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 hoo. That'd be awesome. Oh well, there's always next time. That damn thing comes flying at you so quick, there's no chance. Okay, so... All you need is two power to punch the purple Vikings. Whoa! And I don't think that punch hurts the brown ones, so keep that in mind. Fuck you, man! Ah! If you would have fired his fireball at me right there, I'd have been fucked. Alright, so hit that. Alright, so that's my timer. And I'm gonna die the minute I untime that. Alright, I'm gonna pause this. Alright, so I'm gonna see how far I can get with the three lives that I got. I'm gonna try my damnedest. I'm gonna hit bonus rooms, all that shit. I'm gonna see how far I can make it. Ah! I should probably pick up this game more often, you know, prove my skills a little bit. You know, today it's kinda like, it's been at least a couple years since I've played this game. And it's an amazing game, I tell you. Check it out. You have nothing to lose. It's so cheap. You know, and even some of the folks that sell this game, they don't care about it. They didn't get, like, any raving big reviews or anything. Kind of became a cult classic after the fact, is how I describe it. So I've bumped into a lot of folks on Twitter uh, who played it before, and they love it, too. I don't think anyone's really said anything negative about it. 
Okay, so... Did you, did you guys see anything? I didn't see any. But I could have swore there was one behind that apple. Oh, got one, one up, good. Alright, so ducking over here, shit. Man, they really fucking spawn those things in the opposite corner to keep you running. So it's important to get that one one up. And that's more than likely what you'll get every time you try. Shit. I got the two power up on fist, and it's not hurting the brown Vikings anymore. I don't know, what, what would you call that? That looks like Dijon mustard or something. Okay, so now I've got the three punch. These guys are starting to punch him now. Not today, motherfucker! Alright, we did it. Alright, we're gonna do a straight shot, no warps, and see how far I can get from the four lives that I got. Okay. And I'm learning a lot just sitting here playing it too, you know, and I'm glad you folks are here with me check it out. This game's actually a lot deeper than I thought it was. Damn it! I didn't mean to do that! Fucker! Oh well, I yeah, 401 ain't too bad, I guess. I've gotten this far before with the stats that I got, so I shouldn't get too beat down. Now these guys aren't really nothing either. Does this guy die? Let's see. Okay, yeah, he does. Hit him about five times with the fireball, and that will do it. And I did get another one up, so that's pretty nifty. They're pushing me! Shithead. Okay, so these purple guys, watch out for them. They're pretty quick. They'll sit there and throw like four or five punches in a row. And they are fast. Like that. Like, oh yeah, kick one in a dome right when I'm walking out. <laughs> okay, so... Damn, right out of the gate, dude. He's coming after me. Ugh. This mask is killing me. That motherfucker's trying to kill me. So I just got all bad things all around. So if you remember from my previous attempt at this level, this guy, his projectiles will petrify you, and that's the point, because he wants these little fucking mouth trap guys to shoot you with their projectile. That will kill you. Come here, motherfucker. Oh! No, no, over here. No, no, over here. No, over here. <laughs> He's so easy to fuck with. He's like that big stupid guy that he went to school with. And he wouldn't see you if you stand early still. No, no, no! Ah! Did I just see correctly? I could have swore that I just punched that little mouth trap projectile. That might be something we're trying here soon. Stay away from me, man. Oh, over here, over here, oh, over here. How many more enemies I gotta kill to open this door? Alright, good. Whew. Now we're up to 4 3 now. I'm gonna be a little wary of any sort of bonus room that might be in here. So I don't wanna warp too far ahead. What the fuck are these things? I can punch them. But they shoot projectiles, and it's like fast ones too. I can kick them. I can punch the box guys. Oh! Okay, so that was me on a standard controller. Anyone who's played a fair amount of NES will tell you that they've gotten really good at mashing buttons really super quick in the, in the event they need to. Nah, I'm gonna stay away from that. The risk is too great. Leave me alone, you punk son of a bitch. Alright, so. Damn it! Yeah, go, 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 go! Ooh. Okay. Oh, man. So now we're in the castle. I cannot afford to get hit once. Look how scary this thing is! I did get a one up in there, though, so that's pretty cool.
Damn, this is intense. You see this shit? Kick that guy in the head, kick that guy in the head! No! Go, man, go! Shit! Oh, man. Oh, man. I made it. Fuck. And that's how it ends. Well, well, that's that. Take off my rims. Turn that off, because I hate static. I'm like a dog, man. I can hear static on a TV, and it could be a mile away, I swear to God. Well, this has been Kung Fu Heroes. With me, Blumps the Clown. I'm going to be doing weekly streams for the folks just tuning in every Saturday, 4 p.m. Mountain Standard. And, of course, if you follow me on Twitter, I'll be announcing it as it ticks down. It'll be at, like, three hours, two hours, one hour, whatever. I'll let you know. Um, I'll even give you folks a sneak peek while I'll be playing, unless it's an ultra secret. I'm really close to nailing down a date for when I'll be doing the first leg of the Lumps Cancer campaign. I gotta set all the shit up. I got some apps set up. I still gotta do. Uh, once everything is perfected and everything looks just the way I want it to, I will go ahead and announce the date. I'll give folks at least three weeks, maybe a month's worth of time, and then. I'll be setting that up probably like on a bi-monthly deal is what I'm thinking I'm going to end up doing uh, where folks can donate if they choose. Um, I do have a link on my YouTube channel for the folks that do want to donate early. Uh, just please put a note in there uh, with the donation saying that it's for children's cancer and then that way I'll know where to send it. And of course I'll even send out a receipt and everything and show you that I did do it. Well, this has been Lumps the Clown doing a weekly stream. Kung Fu Heroes, I got stomped. It's just the way it goes with that game. You know, just pay attention, get your power-ups, do not warp. That is my one clue I'll give you, do not warp. Continue getting your power-ups and you're going to be good.